It's the day after Boxing Day, and it's a typical cold, wet and windy day on Kinder Scout, as we usually get at this time of year. We've just received a call from a lady to say that she's slipped and turned her ankle, and it's extremely painful, she can't put any weight on it, and she can't go any further. She's now sat on a southern edge track, but fortunately not too far away from Edel Cross, so it, at the moment it looks like it shouldn't be too difficult to rescue. Our big problem today is that we're very low on numbers, so we're going to have to improvise this rescue a bit if it turns into a stretcher carry. As we pull up to Edel Cross, you can see there's still snow lying on the track, which gives you an idea of how cold it is up at the top. Things were a bit grim on the way in, but we soon found the lady and a friend sat on the edge path. Uh, they were being looked after by a pair of passing walkers who we thanked and then they went on their way. And we quickly got the lady into some warmer gear. So you can see here she's uh, sat on the foil blanket that she was given by the walkers and is now wearing one of our blizzard jackets to keep her warm. The immediate priority was to stabilise her injured ankle by putting it into a box splint. Uh, this should make it a lot less painful once it's got some support. Too long, we've got a slightly different splint we can use, but we'll try this one first, okay. I've got a back splint with us, yeah. That's it. Now, see how we go, you pull that up until it's comfortable. Right. What will do? Does that feel okay yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sorry. Okay, let's fasten that in. I'm gonna fasten it nice and tight, okay. Okay, well done. Well done, that's great. Does, is that feeling okay? Yeah. Cool. It's okay, no worries, right. Once we'd managed to stabilise our ankle, the next issue we turned to was the temperature. It was very cold out there. Uh, she wasn't far away from starting to become hypothermic. So we went for our big stretcher casualty bag. This is a big fluffy waterproof sleeping bag. And it's very warm. So we decided to get it into that and then put our big casualty tent over the top of everything to try and get some heat back into her. Nice. <laughs> Normally when we do this kind of thing we have four people running the casualty site but because we were so low on numbers we'd sent two of them back to the Land Rover to help bring in the stretcher so it was just myself and Dr Ollie left to look after the lady which left us with a lot of jobs to do between just the two of us. We want you to shuffle down into this bag and just lie down. Really good. A little bit further if you can. That's, That's it. it. Whoa, whoa. That's it. In fact, that might be just a little too far. Just, just squeeze back up slightly so we don't catch your toe. Can you go? There we go. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let me just zip it round here, Ollie, first. Sorry, are we? Just get it round the foot. Is that okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then we'll bring the tent back over. Get your jacket in the middle, you can get your back and use that. If it gets over your face, just say and we'll move it. Right.
the back of it, please. That's it. Right, we're good. Did you give any meds, Ollie? We gave paracetamol one gram. And we gave We gave paracetamol one gram. Yeah. And ibuprofen 400 milligrams. 400 milligrams. 400 milligrams, yeah. And, and one, we gave those both about what 15 and, minutes ago. Yeah, and the other was one gram. Yeah, so. one gram of paracetamol about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, okay, which is. No other illnesses, no allergies. No, just, just asthma. asthma. And then, and it's a, it looks like a sprained ankle. I don't think it looks broken. It looks sprained, but you can never tell 100%. We'll have a proper look when we in somewhere more suitable for looking at ankles. Hey, Katie. Eventually, the rest of the hey, team Katie. turned up with the stretcher and wheel and also a search dog, Katie. And we got on with getting the lady prepped and ready to get onto the stretcher so we could start to take her back to the Land Rovers. Good. Yeah, as good as we're gonna get. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. An inch would be better than. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Base from Kinder One, we're beginning our evacuation now, heading to Edo Cross. Over. Where's the ferry? Should we go? Oh, she's yeah, Kinder One. Oh, oh, yeah. Four more hill members from Kinder One. Hopefully, Edo Cross is right. Over. Yeah, many thanks. We're on the southern edges. If they just come to meet us, over. You're right. Slow, slow. Uh, leaning. There we go. Cool. That's good. So once back to our Land Rovers, we drove them down to our base and gave them both a lift to, round to their car which was parked in Edel train station. Uh, her friend was able to then drive them to A&E so she could have the ankle properly looked at and it was only really once it was x-rayed that we found out it was actually fractured in four places. It kind of goes to show that in these conditions on the hill uh, there's no way that we can diagnose the difference between a fractured ankle or a badly sprained ankle so we just treat them all the same way. From our point of view from here we just hang up the wet kit, restock everything and get ready for the next call out. <laughs> 